it's been 10 years. How does it feel for you? Has it flown past? It's went by like the wind. <laughs> I've had a lot of things, a lot of nice things happening in between. Yeah. And my first time in America has been the main highlight. Yeah. Being on the stage for the first time in VGT. Yeah, of course. Singing Wild Horses for the first time, stuff like that, you know? Let's just say I've matured a wee bit. Yeah, you yeah, know? well, we all do, don't we? We all do, of course we do. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned America. The Americans adore you. I mean, I remember being out there, and be just because you know, I was being both Scottish, and you being my little sister, of course. Of course. Um, and they were all asking me whether or not I knew you, and I was going, oh, yeah, yeah, I know, Susan. I think I've sort of uh, touched a lot of people, not yeah. just America, I mean... And I was a sort of underdog, if you like. Yeah, you were, very much and so. That, that, that was a, an example of what other people could do. Yeah. You know? No, look, they're going to do this Britain's Got Talent champion thing. You have to be there. Hopefully that's all going to happen. Well, well it's just, not, just it's something to be confirmed. Right. But they don't know yet. You don't know yet, but it just wouldn't be the same without you. <laughs> so I hope they can get that sorted out. I really do. Well, and I know you're going space. to be going, you'll be going on tour as well. I'm going on a tour next March. Fantastic. Um, I'm starting off in Dundee. Oh, great, good. You know, and going around to Scotland. Lovely. Going down to England and hopefully later on to Ireland. Oh, brilliant. And you'll need to do, you'll need to go global as well, though, because you can't do a tour without going to America. I'll watch the space. Ah, watch cool. the space. Good, I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> do you still do karaoke in the local pub, in the local clubs? Do you still do that sort of thing? Karaoke? <laughs> What's wrong with a bit of karaoke? I think it's wonderful. I'm not very good at it, but I think it's a great thing to do. Here's my song. <laughs> my song. You must have been called there with my shadow. Ah, <laughs> Underneath my wings. Oh, lovely. And I know that everybody where you live, they're so protective of you. Oh, they are. Which is, they're, which is they're really protective. Mm. I mean, they're really friendly up Dive Blackburn, you know? Yeah, but that's because you're very much their ghetto. You know, that, that's the thing. And, and I know, because obviously you've got this worldwide fame, hugely, hugely famous, and yet you are still so down to earth. Well, there can't be anything else, only down to earth. I know. Where does that come from? Does that come from your parents, do you think? I think my parents probably like that. You know, my, my, dad, my dad was a singer himself. Yeah. And my mother played piano to a professional level. So I guess it's, it's a way of keeping grounded. You've always just, you've just always got on with it and you clearly love what you do. It was interesting one thing you said, you said that life before Britain's Got Talent was a little bit dark. I know your mum had died and things yeah. were really mm -hmm, hard. Right. And it's almost like going from black and white to colour. It's a bit like that. It's a bit like that, yeah. Yeah. You know, some, something, somebody up there meant me to do it. Yeah. And I wouldn't have done it in the first place. Now look, unbelievably, you're going to be 60 soon, as am I. Um, I've got a bucket list. Have you got things that you want to do just to celebrate I've just that got, milestone? I've just got my provisional licence. Oh, right, OK. I've had a couple of lessons okay. so, so far. That's good. <laughs> everyone's, everyone's OK. Everyone's OK, so that'd be a thing that you want to do. I've got myself a bike as well. Have you? What, a motorbike? No, we ain't Cam Giles. <laughs> 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 Me granny in the bike. <laughs> I remember that, I remember that. So, but, uh, just a push bike. Just a push bike. Because I have to say, you're looking in great shape. Thank you. Feeling good in yourself? I feel a lot better now, thank you. Right. Yeah. I've had my moments where I've needed help and I've reached out and I got the help yeah. I needed. And uh, I, I can only thank them for my recovery. You've got a good team round about you, though. That's what's really I've important. Got I've got a brilliant team. Yeah. I mean, I've got a great vocal coach, a great PA, and, a, and the publicist. I mean, she's fantastic. See, that's what you need, though. You need people around about you that, can, that have got your best interests at heart and that you get on with. And you trust. Yeah, which is I'll absolutely brilliant. There's one thing you and I do not agree about. Oh, what's that? And that's Piers Morgan. Have you still got a torch for him? Do you still fancy Piers? Let me figure this out. I still, I still like him a bit. Do it a bit. A bit. A bit. I've, no, grown well, up, I've grown up a bit. Well, this is true. This is true. We'll never fight over Maine. Because you, you can have peers. He's yours, should you so wish. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I want some work. I'm lost for words. <laughs> <laughs> but you are, you're, you're single and you're very happy. I'm a single fish. A single fish. But you're happy being a single fish. <laughs> yeah, it's so happy. Right. Keep doing what you do, my love. Good luck with the tour. Good luck with everything that you do. And here's to the next 10 years. Thank you very much. Thank you, Susan. Great to see you. Thank you. Okay.